You're watching the world of Universal News Flash. At the end of March, Universal Orlando announced FX's American Horror Story as the first house for their annual Halloween Horror Nights event. The house will put guests directly into Season 2, Asylum, Season 3, Coven, and Season 6, Roanoke. Guests will travel through the decades of the notorious Briarcliff, be drawn into the wrath of descendants of the Salem Witches, relive the horrific story of the Millers, and experience other scenes from the three seasons. The house will use Universal Orlando's largest floor plan. Universal Orlando's Rock the Universe event returns to Universal Studios Florida September 8th and 9th for a weekend of faith and worship. The event will feature a candlelighting ceremony, live performances by hit Christian musical artists including Lecrae, Family Force 5, Casting Crowns, and Aaron Cole, and additional entertainment. You can visit worldofuniversal.com forward slash blog to find full details. According to a report, Universal filed documents revealing a new hotel development on the Wet n Wild property. The documents outlined a plan to add three parking structures, have a portion of a road vacated, and add 4,000 rooms. Additional information regarding this development is not available. Details were revealed about tickets, express passes, and annual passes for Universal's Volcano Bay Water Theme Park. When Volcano Bay officially opens on May 25th, guests can experience the park with single-day tickets, park-to-park -park tickets, and an annual or seasonal pass. The park is now selling one-day tickets at a fixed rate of $67 for adults and $62 for children as well as other ticket options. Those who wish may purchase a three-park annual or seasonal pass or upgrade their current two-park pass to receive admission. The Volcano Bay will use a virtual line system to eliminate long lines Standard and unlimited express passes are available for sale. They allow guests to head directly to any participating express pass attraction rather than receiving a return time. Full details regarding this information can be found at worldofuniversal.com forward slash Volcano Bay Tickets. Race Through New York starring Jimmy Fallon officially opened Thursday, April 6th after about a month of technical rehearsals. The ride uses a virtual line system so that guests may receive a return time and head back to the ride with little to no waiting. Throughout the queue, guests will see props and exhibits displaying all hosts of The Tonight Show, meet hashtag the panda, enjoy a live performance by the Ragtime Gals Barbershop Quartet, play games, and send thank you notes. Race Through New York uses ride technology similar to that of Despicable Me, Minion Mayhem, and Star Tours at Disney's Hollywood Studios, but with a more theater-like approach. Are you planning a trip to Universal Orlando or Universal Studios Hollywood? Visit worldofuniversal.com for up-to-date news and access to our free vacation planning tools designed to help you get the most out of your vacation.